Hi everyone, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I'm Hope and Coffee. And today I'm talking a little bit about how I changed some of my habits in order to go from 200 plus pounds down to where I am right now, which is about 145 and holding. I had originally thought that my goal weight was going to be about 135, but I'm really feeling like 145 is where I'm enjoying being. Um, I just kind of feel good at this particular weight, and it feels nice to just kind of be where I am. I don't have any aches or pains. I sleep pretty well when I when I treat my body well, but I wanted to talk a little bit about I, how I changed some of those habits and it was not easy and I don't think change is ever easy. So one of the things that I always tell people when they kind of ask me because I will try to put a picture on the screen probably somewhere over here of what I used to look like before I guess before I lost the weight. People don't believe it's me. I promise it's me, but that's what I used to look like whenever I feel like I didn't take care of myself when I just kind of let myself be and I bought into a lot of different fads and I just thought that I had all the time in the world to kind of do whatever I wanted to do. Well, you know what? You only get older and you don't get younger and your body does keep count. So <laughs> I didn't say that first. Somebody else said that first, but I'm going to borrow that. So please give credit to whoever said that first. Um, so back in around 2017, I went to a training that was um, kind of away from my day-to-day -day setting. And the training was about five weeks not too not too long but it was a pretty substantial training where i was in a dorm like setting with a lot of people who were younger than me and i felt very unfit i felt as though i physically could not keep up half the time and i kind of started coming to the realization that i needed to do something to help myself i really had been pretty like pretty consistently not sleeping well for a period of time and just kind of had always just kind of eaten whatever I'm a southern girl grew up in the south so butter and carbs are my friends like they are my besties and they stick around as much as possible well so what I decided to do pretty early on after I got back from the training and had already kind of set this mindset that I wanted to make a change for myself, that I wanted to do something that I could be proud of myself about, was I started doing keto. Now, keto can be controversial and I completely understand that. It does not work for everybody and I get it, but it worked for me. So I did keto. And it was probably fairly dirty keto, which means I was probably eating a lot of, I was trying to avoid a lot of the bad fats and trying to do some pretty good fats with avocado and things like that. Trying to do like olive oil and having salads, things of those nature that, that I felt was working for me. But I also started trying to dedicate at least 30 to 45 minutes of my lunch time at the gym. During work, I would be given about 45 minutes to an hour for lunch. And a lot of times I would just sit at my desk and work through lunch. So instead of working through lunch like I was so consistently doing, I decided to tell myself, get up from your desk for like 30 of those minutes and go walk on the treadmill, go walk on the elliptical, do something. And so I started doing that. I was meal prepping on the weekends. I was bringing my lunch to work. So I was not trying to grab things from the vending machines. And I was trying to um, at least three times a week go to the gym and just walk on the treadmill or do something like that. 
and I started kind of feeling better, falling into this sort of routine. Well, then I realized, I was like, you know what, I think I want to work out more, and this 30 to 45 minutes at work is not really kind of enough for what I want to do. So I signed up for Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness was only about three miles away from my apartment, and it was something I could easily drive to. It was only $10 a month, and you know, I could I could actually go after work and get a good workout in. So I started I started working like that's when I really started working like 6:45 to like 3:15, leaving the office about 3:15, commuting home, which I was not that far from the office. And um getting home taking care of the puppies, and then I'd hop in the car and go do, um, go do my workout for a little while. And that started to become a routine until I started seeing some results. Well, then I decided I didn't want to drive to Planet Fitness anymore because, again, even though it's only three or four miles away, when you get home from work, you don't want to always have to travel even further. So then I found that there's an Anytime Fitness like walking distance from my apartment. Well, my work has a little like health plan that I can sign up for Anytime Fitness without paying a contract fee. And so all I had to do was walk over there, show them the little membership card, and I could get a fitness membership. And then I was able to take yoga classes at the Anytime Fitness as well as doing the like the elliptical or running on the treadmill. And I just started finding things that worked for me. And that is the biggest key is you can only and you will only do things that work for you. I cannot tell you to do this, that, and this if they're not going to fit into your lifestyle. You have to be willing to fit certain things in your lifestyle. Like... Some people want to do Stairmaster. Some people want to do rower. Some people elliptical, treadmill, whatever, weights. Whatever you feel feels right for you is the correct workout. Everybody can tell you, yes, weight train, cardio, blah, 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 this, that, and the other, Pilates, bar. They're all great. They're all wonderful. They all have merit. However, the only fitness program that will work is the one you will stick to and the one that you will adamantly pursue that is it that is the key i have no other keys for you other than that and everybody's like okay five minute workout to shed inches sure if you stick to it but that's just it it's like and you don't know how many times you're supposed to do it in five, like in five minutes. Okay, how many five minutes? I, I need to do it seven times and that's 35 minutes. I mean, I don't know. But the thing is, is but those were just a few things that I had to change. Some of my mindsets that I had to change in order to make a difference and to start seeing my results. I still try to work out five times a week. I may not go as intense every single day, um, but some days I will. I still try to meal prep on the weekends, and I try to keep foods at my desk so I don't snack too much. But that's just it, is you have to find the things that you can be consistent at and then be consistent at those. Because 1% is better than 0%, and the only things that are going to work are the things you'll do. So until next time. I hope that you will tune in again, and I will see you all on the next page.